All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here today. I'm behind the Vons. There's some sick, sick curb slash ledges out the back here. These ledges are like, if I was in high school, like back in the day, these ledges would have been like the spot to come after school and skate. Check them out. As you guys can see, they're a bit taller than a normal curb. So they're at a pretty good height. And uh, yeah, they are nice and slippery. Check them out. Fair bit of skating's been done here already by the looks of it, so pretty keen to uh, rip into it. A local skateboarder I met posted this spot up on his Instagram and I kind of lurked the comments and I found where it is. Where this spot is, it's like a back service road kind of thing, I guess for like delivery trucks and stuff to come through. So the road's pretty quiet. I wasn't too sure what I was rolling up to. I didn't want it to be like a super busy car park. Then I'd be in the way of everybody and I'd be really self-conscious about my skating too because everyone's kind of watching. But yeah. I'm gonna get warmed up and I'm gonna rip into this spot. Pretty good view of the highway from here actually. I know that was very, very sketchy, but I am taking it busted up out here, guys. I can't complain about the heat because it's not hot here. Well, I'm in the shade at least, but um, yeah, this curve has been a bunch of fun. Sorry about all the static footage. Like I've just got a tripod filming for me today. Definitely different compared to having a filmer, going back to not having a filmer again. Got to adjust, but I'll be okay. Soon, hopefully, I'm gonna hook up with some people to skate, and then I can get some better skating footy that's not static on a tripod. I don't know how John makes it look so casual and easy. I've got to study some more of his videos, I think. This would be the spot, like back in high school, this would have been the spot. Roll up in the afternoon, get like a drink or something to eat from the store here, and then skate this curb until sunset. You can pretty much learn a bunch of ledge tricks on a curb like this. Providing there's a curb like this near where you live, it can be fun, it can be educational, skate educational, I suppose, if you're learning new tricks and stuff. I've actually got another set of wheels at home, brand new, they're Formula 4s, just a regular conical shape. These are the lock-ins. Um, they were fun for a while, but I think I'm gonna go back to the conical shape. And they're the rawls. The rawls are getting a bit dirty though. I think I need to clean them, but I've got another set of bearings to chuck in. I've got some G3s I might chuck in as well. Um, yeah, probably gonna get rid of these wheels. One thing I definitely need to work on is like locking in like front tails and back tails. I can always kind of get in, hold them for like a second and then I fall out, which is weird because when I no slide, I can like lock it in. Even when I do a switch no slide, I can lock in and like hold it for longer. So skating things like this definitely helps you in a way of kind of training, not only your muscle memory, but your mind to kind of figure out and break down what you need to do to land a trick because there's always a trick to the trick like it could be something as simple as moving your foot further backwards or like 
putting your foot further up on your tail a bit more, popping a bit later or popping a bit earlier. Never underestimate little spots like this because it's spots like this that get you learning tricks and then becoming more confident at skateboarding. And then from here, you can take it from this little red curb here to like a bigger ledge, maybe a hubba, maybe even a rail, you know? So never underestimate spots like this because they're super fun nine times out of 10, especially if you don't get the kick out. And I think being back here, out of the car park over there. No one's really coming back here. I'm out of the public view. I could probably skate here all day and wouldn't get kicked out. I've been here for about two and a half weeks now and it has not rained once. I thought it was gonna rain today because there was a bit of overcast in the morning. And then, um, yeah, the sun poked its head out. But yeah, it's true what they say. It never rains in Southern California. Actually, it's not true because last time I came, it rained for like two weeks straight. Probably not two weeks. It probably rained for like a week and a half last time I come. I think that was in November, December 2019. So yeah, super glad it hasn't been raining this trip. I just dropped a comment on Dan Corrigan's last video of him skating this new park in La Puenta, I believe it's called, with some of the Powell World dudes. And someone uh, replied to my comment saying that I should meet up with Dan. And I said like, I'd love to. And he just replied right now. I don't know if you guys can see. He said he's keen once his ankle is healed. So yeah, probably not a big deal for a lot of people, but I've come a long way. I've literally come from the other side of the world Sydney, Australia to come up here and skate with other skateboarders and skate YouTubers so I'm very excited. I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm happy. made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching I had a lot of fun skating those red curbs i'm probably going to go back there a bunch it's only kind of like 15 minutes down the highway but i'm probably going to go back there a bunch to skate hopefully learn some new tricks on but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below more skating to come shouts out to everyone watching these videos and following my journey so far over here it's been a wild one it's been crazy but it's been fun but yeah once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch all of you all in the next video.